morning guys youtube people world whoever wherever sun's out for a second i had to come out get my vitamin d anyway uh yeah it's the day of the storm or after the storm <sighs> yeah doesn't look like too much happened we were supposed to get 40 two mile an hour winds last night um i slept through it somehow some way usually i cannot sleep through any wind above 15 miles an hour but it doesn't look like we got hit too too bad i think uh where the storm was coming in from the coast it's like Santa Barbara area. My head will be Santa Barbara. It'll be the shape of California. <laughs> anyway, where it came in um, and swooped in, it looked like the canyon, the mountain pass through like Santa Clarita Valley and stuff might have kept it that way and pushed it down more because it kind of spread. So if my shadow, my head is where I live. It kind of spread out like that. This went that way, this one's going that way, and then we got a little bit of it. But my buddy that lives 20 miles away over here, he said he had what he thinks was like 30, 40 mile an hour winds. <clears throat> and I don't think we got any because I'm pretty sure I would've woke up. I, will, I know I woke up at three a.m. Um, just because, I don't know, I don't know why I woke up, but that's what time I woke up. But anyway, um, yeah, so today is the day before the roof gets replaced. So that little chimney thing right there is now tomorrow, hopefully, going to be right up there. Be a new flashing there. Another vent there for a fart fan um, to get rid of that and all the soot. Anyway, so yeah, yesterday we did a, a different mantle thing above our pellet stove so that we can run the pipe behind. A fake wall so to speak so we were doing that yesterday while the weather was good and uh, I have we had to go to Lowe's or we went to Lowe's we have to go to Lowe's and got more shiplap board because we have shiplap on the wall we had shiplap on the wall I cut it all cut it bumping the wall out I think it's about eight or nine inches. Bump the wall out with some two by fours. And we're gonna take all the shiplap that was on the wall and we're gonna put it on the new wall and then had to get this to do the sides of the bump out. And then, uh, yeah. And then I get to install these pieces on the roof or they, they're gonna install these pieces on the roof. This is going in the attic, um, basically gonna wrap the pipe. This pipe here will be inside this cylinder and inside that cylinder, that pipe, to keep insulation and stuff in the attic, keep insulation and stuff away from it so it doesn't catch on fire. Even though this is uh, <clears throat> well insulated, Piping, um, they do require, I think, two inches from the pipe. So this is four inch pipe. So I think it's five inch in diameter. It's four inch inside, five inch outside. And uh, I can't remember if it's double walled or triple walled. Anyway, um, I think it's triple walled. I could be wrong. But... Uh, yeah, so this little box here is a box you're supposed to buy, but I couldn't find any. 
that didn't come in a complete kit. So the only thing I could find was a complete kit. Um, and I think it was like 500 bucks. So instead of make, having that box, I'm making my own box, technically. Um, but yeah, just trying to see if it says anything. It says C, whatever, whatever that means. But anyway, so I have uh, five of these, which is 15 feet. <clears throat> So, and I have a reducer from three inch to four inch because this is what the pellet stove is getting. Um, has right now is three inch. So it's gonna go from three inch to four inch. Inside the house. And then, uh, yeah. And then out the top of the roof through this flashing. <clears throat> um, that'll get on the roof, the pipe will come out, and then this goes around the pipe right here. Um, and then you seal silicone this basically to the pipe, and then this sheds water off and around. So anyway, something like that. So we got that, we got all this other stuff that's going on, all the other New flashings for the the water vent pipes. Got three of those because I got a kitchen, two bathrooms, and then um, I have I got this one. I don't even know if this one will work, but it says side flash. So I don't know. I don't really like this one. I thought it was different. But we have uh, the swamp cooler. Swamp cooler has electrical and uh, water, um, quarter inch water line and uh, half inch electrical. So I was thinking on doing this one, but we might not be doing that. We might have to reuse the other one or I might have to run to Lowe's or Home Depot and pick up something different. <clears throat> Because I thought this was one of these. Because there's no picture online. I ordered it from Home Depot. There was no picture. It just said half inch to two and a half inch uh, flashing. So, which is the same company as these. So that's why I figured it was just one of these. was one of these. So, I don't know. Probably going to have to run to Home Depot or Lowe's. Return that one and whatever. Um, yeah, kitchen flashing. <coughs> so, I pretty much have everything for them. Um, the guy told me to get more flashing. Uh, you know, 90 degree angle flashing, which I did. So, I hope. This is all the flashing right here drip edge and 90 degree flashing but yeah anyway asked him if he wanted me to move this so that they're not pushing stuff on top of the new roof and he said no it's fine they won't do any of that but when he gets here tomorrow morning he'll probably ask me to move it um, but yeah, so, and he said that the dump trailer is good. It'll hold another, the rest of whatever's on the house. So we'll see, see how that goes. <coughs> but anyway, <sighs> yep. So that'll happen tomorrow morning. Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully they don't mind me flying the drone over. Fly the drone over a couple times. Get some video of how they're doing. And go from there. Check this thing. Because I had a leak. 
it had a leak one time around the AC unit. Let's see any moisture. Maybe while they're doing the roofing, maybe I'll go play. Oh, I gotta change some parts. <sighs> yeah. Anyway. So yeah, that had a leak. Always like to come in and check it to see how that's doing. And it looks like it's fixed. Although, I still have a leak. Mm. Looks like I still have a leak. Water. Still got a leak up in the front. I don't know where it's coming from. I sealed all of that stuff up there. I'm going to have to do something. Maybe I'll... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe hire that out too. Have someone replace the whole roof. The whole membrane or whatever it is. On this trailer. But other than that, flooring looks good. Toilet looks dope. Still has the water in it. Power's off. Anyway, guys. Um, yeah. That's all I got today. I'll probably just run to Home Depot or Lowe's today <clears throat> and go pick up that other piece of flashing. Cause, and I need another piece of 2x4. But anyway, so here comes the wind. We're supposed to get 30-something mile an hour winds right now. And potentially flash flooding is what the weather app says. So it's sprinkling right now. <coughs> sprinkling right now. The tarp is still there where we had leaking into the garage, into our house. And, yeah. Oh yeah, discount tire sucks again. Got the tires rotated and balanced and those little center, those little lug nut caps, they basically just put them on however they want until they stopped and then I uh, thought they were done, but there was about five of them that were on crooked crooked that one's missing one which means they probably broke it <clears throat> bunch of idiots <sighs> i'm gonna have to find a different tire place or buy my own tire balancing machine those are all on but whatever all right guys that's all i got for today let me get back in the house do some relaxing. I gotta go back to work on Sunday. Sunday morning, go back to work. So I gotta go relax. Since I've been relaxing for the past 13 days. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Later.